Hello everyone. Warm welcome to you all in today's class. Today I am going to discuss a new chapter that is my life on an island and it is uh, written by Robinson Crusoe. There are several subsection of this chapter so I am going to deliver a brief summary of first two pages. I hope it will help you to understand this story. Robinson, first I am just giving you a short introduction about Robinson Crusoe. Robinson Crusoe as a young and impulsive wanderer defied his parents and went to sea. He was involved in a series of violent storms with, and was warned by the captain that he should not be a seafaring man. Seafaring means those who travel regularly in sea. A same to go home, Crusoe boarded another ship and returned from a successful trip to Africa. Taking off again, Crusoe met with bad luck and he was rescued by a Portuguese ship and started a new adventure. He landed in Brazil. Now the story starts. Robinson Crusoe reached the island when the ship he was traveling in was shipwrecked and he swam to the nearest piece of land he could find. He mainly feared attacks from wild animals. Crusoe was happy to see his ship because he knew there would be food and other useful tools such as knives, axes, guns and cloth that would help him build shelter and stay safe. Crusoe made immediate plans for food and the shelter to protect himself from wild animals. He brought as many things as possible from the wrecked ship, things that would be useful later to him. To make his house, he used the ship's sail to build a tent at the entrance of a cave. To make a raft, he took some long pieces of wood and tied them together. He planted some corn and ground it to make the flour. In this way, he could make his bread. He dried the fruits he found in the jungle and stored them and he supplied these all fruits for many months. He used the skin of dead animals to make clothes. So this is the short summary of first two or three pages. So let's start reading the chapter. I was shipwrecked during a dreadful storm last night. All the crew in my ship drowned but I managed to swim ashore to this island. I have no food, no house, no clothes but I do have a laptop. As I was swimming, I had crept onto a bag to keep me afloat and it happened to be the one with my laptop. 
Thanks to waterproof bag and wireless internet, I can now keep my blog updated. It rained the entire night. I had no choice but to sleep under a tree. This morning, I was happy to see that my ship had been dri- driven to the uh, shore with the high tide. I swam it and got some food and ate hungrily. I then decided to bring some essential things with me to the shore. But now could I get everything here? So I took some long pieces of wood and tied them together with a rope. My raft was ready. I put some items on the raft and brought it here. I couldn't bring everything here because it was a small raft. It has taken me a month to carry the goods ashore on the raft. I got a big box of food, rice and salted meat. I have also got knives and other tools, the ship's sail and ropes, papers, paints, books, a few guns and even several batteries. I was happy to find these things. Now I can easily recharge my laptop. This is also means that I need a place to keep my things. I shall build myself a house. I will have a house soon. I found a cave on the side of a hill few months ago. I will use the ship's sail, rope and pieces of wood to make a tent in front of it. I will use the cave which will be at the back of my tent to keep my food. It will be my kitchen. My house is almost done. Tonight I will sleep in my new home. It was taken me months to build it because generally I can work only for a few hours a day. The sun is too hot in the afternoon and at night I can work because I have no light. Every time I need a piece of wood, I have to cut down a tree. It is slow and tedious work. I have learned to be very clever with my tools. I also go out looking for food every day. I gather fruits and dry them. Dried fruits can be stored for many months. Sometimes I kill the wild animal for meat. I feared the attack of wild animals. It has taken me a fortnight to build a fence. For this, I cut down young trees. I use this along with many of ship's rope to make a fence. Today, when it is complete, I know it is as strong as a stone wall. I still need a lot of things, a table, a chair and cabinets to put all my food and guns. So I have to work on them for a long time. So till here for today, thank you.